How guys doing today? Thank you for joining me here on Ravens Nest. So this week is a big time game for our Baltimore Ravens. They're playing the Pittsburgh Steelers. Woo, here we go, man. Here we go. We all know in the last game against the Steelers, we came up just short. Well, we came up pretty pretty good. I believe the final score was like 26 to 9. And we really got dominated by the Pittsburgh Steelers. But what was wrong with us? It was the interior. Le'Veon Bell ran all over us. He ran for, I believe, over 150 yards in that game. Remember, we didn't have Marshall Yonda in that game. We didn't have Brandon Williams. Well, we still don't have Marshall Yonda, but we do have Brandon Williams. And the Steelers, we just saw them play on Monday night. They're coming off of a short week when they played a tough divisional game against the Cincinnati Bengals, and they're going to be without Juju Shyster. Sh Schuster? Schuster. Juju Schuster is what it is. Who cares about that Steeler anyway, right? But he, he's not going to be playing. So, I know he's not like, I wish Antonio Brown wasn't playing, but Antonio Brown will be playing. But that's unfortunate too because Antonio Brown usually is guarded by Jimmy Smith, who usually does a good job against him. But we all know Jimmy Smith, out for season, won't be playing in this game. Marlon Humphrey said on himself this week that he expects the Pittsburgh Steelers and Ben Roethlisberger to attack him. And is that an understatement? I, I expect Ben Roethlisberger, the veteran quarterback, to go after him. Now, I want to make note, this probably will be the last time that T-Sizzle goes up against Ben Roethlisberger, so enjoy it. There's been a lot of great moments between the two guys, playoff moments, Big time games that they've played with division on the line, and this probably will be the last time unless we play in the playoffs. So let's hope, let's hope that we're able to send Ben Roethlisberger out the right way. What better way to send him out than to beat him in Heinz Field on his own turf for one last time? Just like we sent home Paul Amalu into retirement, we beat him in the playoff game back in the wild card round the other year. Let's hope we do the same thing against Ben Roethlisberger. Now, what do we need to do? We need to do exactly what our AFC rivals did to us last time. We need to be physical. We need to play solid offensive line and solid defensive line because they're worn out, like I said, from the other week. Well, from last week against the Bengals, they're going to be tired. We need to be as physical as we can be against these Steelers and wear them out through the course of four quarters. That means everyone's got to step it up. Howard on the offensive line. Austin Howard, he's got to have a good game. Matt Skura, he's got to show up. Everyone on that offensive line, uh, Ronnie Stanley, he's got to play lights out, just like he's done all year. We can't let James Harrison, I know he's old, but we can't let James Harrison make a big-time play, and that'll spell disaster for our Baltimore Ravens. So, defensively speaking, we got to stop the run. We cannot let Le'Veon Bell run over us, because Ben Roethlisberger clearly not the same that he used to be. It's evident that he's not the same. So I'm not even scared of Ben Roethlisberger like I used to be. I used to be uh, completely afraid of Ben Roethlisberger. Not anymore. It's Le'Veon Bell and Antonio Brown. you got to keep those guys in check. Easier said than done. But if there's any way possible, I think on a short week, they won't have fresh legs. We will. We'll be able to get it done. We've won three straight. They've won seven straight. Something's got to break between the two teams. And I'd rather much see the Pittsburgh streak snap than the Ravens that's why I'm going with the Ravens this week I might be going a little bit too much with my heart but I don't care I feel as if the Steelers will be tired I feel as if they're rolling right now I'm going with the Ravens something like 23 to 20 in Heinz Field shocking the world on Sunday night football and finally the league will realize who we really are thank you guys for watching Ravens Nest hopefully you have a great game on Sunday talk to you guys on Sunday after the game hopefully in celebration mode talk to you guys later